What's going on everybody? This is Giovanni from the Options Trading Channel. I have some awesome news, something to report to you. I placed my very first futures trade yesterday. Actually, I placed two trades, one winner, one loser. I was actually up for the entire day altogether. Really exciting stuff for me. I'll show you here in just a little bit uh, why I placed those trades. But before I do, I have to explain a couple things. If you watched my last uh, video, you do know that I do have uh, $5,000 in my trading account to trade futures. I have a couple of issues that I do have to work out and that involves the PDT rule, the pattern day trade rule where I can only trade three day trades in any five day period basically. So I'm working on that. I, I'm not gonna spoil any details just yet but I will have to address this issue in the very near future. The other thing that I discovered in paper trade, this is why I don't necessarily advocate a whole lot of paper trading. Um, sure, I you know you should be testing out your strategy, your trades and whatnot um, paper, by paper trading it, but don't count on it necessarily how the real world actually trades. What I mean by that is basically I was accounting on my entries uh, whenever I place a market order, my entries on the exact open of the following candle from which I actually get a signal. And that's obviously in real life, you don't actually get filled market order on the exact open of the following candle. And it doesn't really change a whole lot. Just my profits and losses aren't going to be as what I think. Um, they're going to be slightly different, not a whole lot but slightly different. But my conditional orders um, are, are working flawlessly as expected. I really am really happy about that. Stay tuned for that video where I am going to explain how to perform, how to queue up, and how to enter conditional trades. So let's get to the computer screen so I can show you those trades. What you're looking at here is on the far right in the smaller chart, you have the daily chart of the micros. And on the far left, the bigger chart, this is the one hour chart of the micros. And this right here was the first trade that I took. And as you can see here, this particular candlestick that I got the signal on uh, was at three o'clock in the morning. So we would have been getting in on the following candle at um, four o'clock in the morning. Again, this is on the 29th. I'm actually recording this the day after, and I will show you those trades, but uh, because I was dead asleep, I didn't get in on this trade and it was a bad trade, but I still wanted to place this trade. I, I got in, I'll double check here in, in just a little bit, but I did get in here on this uh, candle uh, where I got a basically an exit signal I got in somewhere around here, the 30, 27 range. Um, again, the main reason why I wanted to um, get in on this trade even afterwards is that I wanted to test out my conditional orders, see if they would execute as um, I expected or planned. And they did, they absolutely did. My risk was very low at this point because it was already trading near this lower band. And this was the other uh, signal that I got that I actually uh, placed. And I only traded one contract. The main reason why I only traded one contract, even though that I could have traded it with two or three on both of these trades, is that I only had cleared, um, as you can see, $1,800. At the time, when I opened up the account, I had $5. I made two deposits, one for $1,800 and the other one for $3,200, bringing my entire balance to, uh, before the two trades, $5,005 even. Only $1,800 uh, was actually clear and able to trade with the other $3,200. I'm waiting for it to clear, but so that's the main reason why I only traded two. Let me show you those two trades. You can see here that at 7.54 my time, uh, what is that, just um, under, what, 24 minutes after the opening bell of the market, um, I placed an order at 30.25.75 uh, for one contract, sold the other one. I, I put in my conditional order. I didn't actually physically execute this trade, actually enter it. I just entered the conditional order and it 
um, and it executed flawlessly at 30, 18, 50. I was down 30, you know, close to 40 bucks uh, before commissions, after commissions, closer to 45, something like that. And then that second trade at uh, an hour before the market actually closed, again, one trade, or excuse me, one contract at 30, 34, uh, made 15 points, uh, exited at 30, 49, right at the end there, one minute, uh, almost two minutes after the close there. So, um, I actually ended up being up for the day, $33.88 trading one contract. So pretty excited about that, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I will be making a video on how to enter conditional orders, how to execute conditional orders, um, I believe, hopefully by tomorrow, if not Monday, guys. So thank you so much for watching today's video. I greatly appreciate it. It was an exciting uh, day yesterday, and I was just super busy. I was a busy dad, so I'm sorry that I'm getting this video out today, which is a day after I actually placed these orders so thank you so much see you guys here in the very next trading video hoping it's a green trade see you guys later